Hello and welcome to the second DevBytes video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an EMDK for Android application that uses barcode scanning within a single activity. If you don't know how to include the EMDK or don't know where to download it from, the previous video covers that for you. What I have here is a simple activity which outputs scanned data into one text view and also shows the state of your scanner within another. What I'm going to do is explain what I did to develop this. The first thing is to make sure you have a scanner object within your activity. In order to get this scanner, however, we will need a barcode manager, a primary object to access barcode scanning. This means we'll need an EMDK manager to get the barcode manager, and in order to get the EMDK manager, we will need to implement the EMDK listener interface. This interface provides you with two callbacks, on opened, which gives you the EMDK manager object, and on closed which if your EMDK listener closes during the activity lifecycle, you can use it to close down and release your EMDK manager. Once you implement the EMDK listener interface, you need to call get EMDK manager to get your EMDK manager. So I've done this within my onCreate method. Since this method returns a result code, it's useful to check that, this isn't this, that if this isn't successful, as then you know what's gone wrong. On a successful call, however, it will call your onOpen method, giving you the EMDK manager. Since we need this to get our barcode manager and to initialize our scanner within this activity, I have called initialize scanner within the onOpen method. The initialize scanner method attempts to get the barcode manager and scanner from the EMDK manager and also assigns your data and status listeners, which are callback interfaces with the decoded data and scanner status respectively. To do this, we will need to implement the interface in our activity. I am also setting the trigger type to hard, which means I have to manually press the trigger to start my scanner. Enable turns on the scanner, but it's still waiting for us to press the trigger to start reading data. Finally, read is called to notify the scanner we want to read some data. This needs to be called every time we want to scan data. Now that we've set up our scanner, we can have a look at what we can do in our data listener and status listener callback. Since these callbacks happen on a background process, we want to use asynchronous methods of interpreting the data given to us, which is why for simplicity's sake, I've gone with async tasks for both. First thing we should look at is our status async task. As you can see, I've got a switch on the state of the scanner. What's important to see here is that when the scanner is idle, it means it's enabled, but it's waiting for a read to be called before we can fire the trigger. This is why we're calling read here for our scanner, so we can see the next barcode, or we can scan the next barcode if we want to. Other than that, all I'm doing here is just updating my text view with the status of the scanner. Our other async task is for handling our on data callback, which contains the barcode's decoded data as well as other details such as barcode type. As you can see, all I'm doing here is getting the first instance of our barcode data I, in our scan list, sorry, as the scanner will only return a single barcode anyways unless you specify multi-barcode. This barcode data is being used to update the text view on the UI thread. One thing to note as well is I've also released and closed my EMDK manager in the onDestroy method in my activity. I have done this to stop the change in orientation of a device from leaking the EMDK connection because it's one thing that normally causes bugs if you just create the single activity without it. So this is one thing just to stop a bit of frustration if your, your phone, you know, if you pick it up and the orientation changes while you're testing this code. Now let's see what happens when I run the application and scan these barcodes. I'm going to test this on a Zebra TC51. Then as you can see, when I scan the first barcode, it's pasted the data straight out into the first text view, and it's also seen that it's waiting for the trigger press, which means scanner.read has been called. And if I scan the next one, same thing. And while I hold down the scan button, it says that it's scanning. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I will provide a link to the source code in this video if you'd like to use it as a reference. And be sure to check out Zebra's developer portal for all of your developer needs. Thank you.